to two separate strands of DNA. Then from there, you have the cooling process, which is also known as annealing. We're going to finish up because we're going to get started. Damn it. And then from annealing, you have um, the process called the elongation, right? In which basically, a primer is added to each DNA strand. So here you have the primer. And then that's when DNA polymerase can come over. Well, we're using TAC polymerase in this um, process, which is a type of DNA polymerase. Yeah, you better. And then from there, you're able to make another strand of DNA. So now you have two molecules. And then this process keeps on going in order to make many molecules of DNA, in which each time, each cycle, you're making double the amount of DNA molecules. So. <clears throat> Once you do PCR, right, so small fragments of DNA you have various parts of the DNA that are not going to be useful or are not going to be used in DNA analysis. You only want the regions of DNA that are going to be different. So we're going to take restriction enzymes and we're going to cut these um, parts of DNA that are going to be useful. Now the fragments are going to dip, travel on different And then and we're going to make something called sticky ends. Primarily because the we're going to cut it a different region. So um, the charge of the fragment. We're going to get yeah, that's what I thought. and, and the that. Make of the and then from there, Basically, you're going to add the probes. Charge, and this is all in a buffer solution charged, because we can't do it in dry conditions. So we're going to add the probes. I mean, towards the positive cathode, while a negative So then, once you add the probes, then you have your VNTRs. It's also going to so, from the VNTRs, you're then going to put it through gel electrophoresis. So then, you have basically the gel, the agarose gel, which is used for DNA electrophoresis. And then, you're going to have those little wells that are going to contain the VNTRs, which are the DNA samples. All right, right. So why was this? According to the chart, and then from or, there, uh, you're gonna fragments. have the charges, going to run which is the cathode and the anode, and then from there, the fragments are gonna move along. Suppose you have a negatively from the cathode to the anode, the top, and this is gonna be for each DNA sample of the, negative charge the male the lizards. And then from there, we can determine which one is more closely related to the child. And once you compare, then you could see which one's more closely related to the 